Kanye West has claimed he has broken mind control as he doubled down on his device of White Lives Matter t-shirt. However he may not be pleased to find out that the design has been stolen as fakes are currently being sold on eBay for only $23. 80. The 45-year-old rapper continued his social media posting spree as he took to Instagram to praise Daily Mail. Com for being really fair and positive regarding coverage of the White Lives Matter t-shirt controversy. He added, God is good I'm used to attacks from Hollywood actors so to get support for standing my ground is amazing we broke the mind control nobody is trauma drunk no more God is fighting this battle for US. He also shared a screenshot of an article from Daily Mail. Come where Professor Tanish A.M. Tata stated West is not alone in his skepticism at the Black Lives Matter movement. The top has become the most talked about piece of clothing of the week as he unveiled it at his surprise Yeezy fashion show in Paris on Monday. But as with all things in the fashion world, counterfeits have quickly come after as duplicates are currently being sold on sites like eBay and Etsy. As Yeezy brand shirts often sell for more than $200. The reproductions of the shirts which still have not been officially released are quite the deal at prices as low as $23. 80. Earlier in the night Kanye once again stood by the White Lives Matter slogan as he posted a photo of the long-sleeved black shirt to his Instagram on Wednesday with the caption, Here's my latest response when people ask me why I made a tee that says White Lives Matter. They do. Meanwhile, one of the only famous friends coming to the defense of Kim Kardashian's ex-husband at the moment is Sean Diddy Combs, who called the musician a free thinker and says his message was misconstrued. Diddy, 52, said my boy is a super, super, super free thinker in an interview on The Breakfast Club on Wednesday. And a lot of times, what he means is, like, misconstrued, you know what I'm saying. The record executive added. When host Charlemagne, 44, interjected to say, you gotta stop making excuses for him he replied, no, no, I'm not making excuses, I'm just saying if he did it, that's the way he thinks. The rapper also stated that people don't have to condemn Kanye or cancel him, but that he understands that the shirts are very tone deaf. I understand white lives do matter, but it's not that, Diddy went on. Black lives matter, was our slogan. That wasn't our slogan to go share with nobody else. Because right now, we're the ones that are dying, that are incarcerated that are left in poverty. You have to be unapologetically black and love your people and love your tribe first, he added. Diddy also revealed that he had previously planned to release his own t-shirt to support West, but now, needs, a couple of days to get over the White Lives Matter design. On Wednesday evening, Diddy took to Instagram to again make it clear he didn't support Kanye's message. He said, I'm not about to be addressing every last thing that is going on in the world on the internet, but the thing I do have to address is this White Lives Matter shirt. I've always been there and I'll always support my brother Kanye as a free thinker. But the White Lives Matter t-shirt, I don't rock with it, I'm not with it. And what the press and what fashion is doing, thinking this is a joke, but right now, all America has planned for us is poverty, incarceration and death. So before I can get to any other lives matter, which all lives matter, you know what I'm saying, that black lives matter. Don't play with it. Don't wear the shirt, don't buy the shirt, don't play with the shirt.
It's not a joke. On Thursday, Kanye continued his social media posting with more cryptic messages, including apologizing to DJ Khaled for not being more present and a plea to his pal and Balenciaga creative director Demig Vashalia. Meanwhile, Kanye also took to Instagram later on to troll Justin Bieber's wife Hailey, 25, after she defended Vogue editor Gabriella Carafa Johnson for criticizing his White Lives Matter shirts. West shared a screenshot of his Google results with a knee. News article discussing Bieber's support for Carafa Johnson. Wait am I cancelled again? Justin please let me know. He captioned the Instagram post. In another scorching post he went after Haley again, telling Justin to get your girl before I get mad before hitting out at John Legend and Kara for Johnson yet again. I wanna just let everybody know there was also some fashion this week also, he started the post. There was a major thing called Fashion Week which really lasts a month and there were some very well done crazy overpriced clothes being shown. It wasn't just about my paradigm shifting t-shirt. Just kidding my TS on every Bodies shows nothing happened but my t-shirt, further adding, remember my one t-shirt took all of the attention. Because you're all left programmed sheep and those boots Gap was wearing were F trash. But I'm sure John Legend still wants a pair. And Justin get your girl before I get mad. He continued his posting spree, sharing a screenshot from Hollywood Unlocked detailing Diddy's support for him. God is love, he captioned the post. He also shared a snap of Bella Hadid getting a spray on white dress during Fashion Week with the photoshopped White Lives Matter slogan. He shocked fans on Monday, when he debuted the design, and even had fashion models in the show wearing the clothing with the message written across it, a response to the Black Lives Matter movement that was founded in 2013 following the fatal shooting of Trayvon Martin by George Zimmerman. The front of West's White Lives Matter shirt appeared to show a collage of photos of Pope St. John Paul II, with the bottom caption referring to him in Spanish as Juan Pablo II. Also posing with West was right-wing commentator Candace Owens, who wore a complimentary version of the shirt, and Kanye's daughter Northwest, 9. Among those who modeled West's new design in Paris was Bob Marley's granddaughter, Cela Marley. Cela is the daughter of Lauren Hill and Rohan Marley. It is not the first time that he has stoked controversy surrounding race, after saying in 2018 that he thought 400 years of slavery was a choice. Kanye has aligned himself with right-wing figures such as Owens, as well as former President Donald Trump, regularly sporting a Make America Great Again baseball hat in public. During a May 2018 interview regarding his support of Trump, West said, Racism isn't the deal-breaker for me. If that was the case, I wouldn't live in America. It was an eventful Wednesday for Kanye, who earlier in the day accused the Kardashian family of basically kidnapping his daughter Chicago on her birthday, as he continued to make claims that ex-wife Kim Kardashian has prevented him from seeing their children. The accusation came as Khloe Kardashian made a public plea for the rapper to stop tearing down her sister, after Kanye dredged up his family dispute amid the ongoing controversy surrounding his White Lives Matter t-shirt. Kim, 41, who co-parents North, 9, Saint, 6, Chicago, 4, and Psalm, 3 with the rapper previously denied his claim that she threw a secret birthday party for their daughter Chicago in January this year, after he alleged that the reality star had refused to tell him where it was. 
and for all audience so outraged about my t-shirt, Kanye wrote in his latest Instagram rant, adding, where was you when I couldn't see my kids? In response Chloe, 38, begged him to stop tearing Kimberly down and using our family when you want to deflect, and insisted that he leave her and the family out of it so that the kids can be raised peacefully. Kanye fired back on his Instagram page, calling the Kardashians liars and accusing them of having basically kidnapped Chicago on her birthday so she could remember her father not being there, 